makikita pa ulit tayo. <laughs> uh, this this content is something that I've been saving up for a special location. Well, any day is a special location for me, but I, I do feel that this is something that I can cap the week with. Uh, so it's just it's just deep for me because this week ko lang siya ano this week ko lang siya na encounter and it speaks depths to me kaya gusto ko siya i-share sa inyo and it might it might also spark something in you so wala namang masama di ba share is sharing is caring so sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin at ngayon pa lang makakapanood i am coach Joriel or coach TJ which effort is easier to say I'm a certified CACC professional life coach from Life Coach Philippines. I am a certified martial arts instructor and a marine engineer by profession. I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I'm a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking and this episode is titled Strength of Character and Warmth, a quote from the boxer. So. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, I got this quote from the internet. Pero mamaya na yung story doon. So, this is part, just part of the bigger, ano yun, part of the bigger quote. Ang pinaka tumatak sa akin is this line. Be someone who has the courage to treat others with warmth. Sige, ulitin ko ah. Be someone who has the courage to treat others with warmth. This was just part of this was part of a message dun sa comic, sa character. So, this message came from Hiroto Takeda. He's a Japanese character in a Korean manhwa titled The Boxer. So, sundalo siya. Sundalo siya and may anak siyang batang lalaki named Yuto Takeda. And Yuto Takeda grew up to be a world champion of boxing. So, those were the values that Hiroto imparted to Yuto. So, be someone who has the courage to treat others with warmth. So, ang naging portrayal ni Yuto dun is somehow uh, akin to a superhero. Someone who has the values who would defend others against uh, bullying. Saka, uh, aside, aside from bullying, yung, yung overall just being mean. You'd that would be the character who'd be there to defend you and be, be kind even to the bully. So, hindi siya papalag or hindi siya, hindi siya bibitaw ng suntok unless it was needed, utterly needed. So, yun ang ano, yun yung isa sa ano, isa sa mga messages na tumatak sa akin while reading comics. So, ayan, marami ako na pagkukunan and sometimes may, pumu may dumudungaw lang, may may lumalabas out of nowhere and it just sticks with me. So that's where I got it. I got it from a Korean manhwa titled The Boxer. So it's about a boxer. The main character is an abandoned child who has an overpowered ability in boxing. So nakalaban niya si Yuto and natalo si Yuto. But their change their lives change after that. So ongoing pa yung manhwa. So with regards to the to the quote kasi meron siyang courage, strength and warmth. Sabi kasi nung tatay ni Yuto, si Hiroto that for you to be a strong person, ito yung makailangan mo. Be someone like this. And one of the lines were yun nga, be someone who has the courage to treat others with warmth. Bakit? Kasi why, why does it why did it stuck uh, stick with me? Kasi ako hindi naman ako ano eh, pag dito life coach man ako, but I'm still a person. Nakakaranas pa rin ako ng galit, naiinis pa rin ako, and sometimes it's easier to feel cold. It's some, uh, it's most of the time easier just to be angry at someone. Diba? Pabayaan mo yan, bahala siya sa buhay niya. Napakadaling sabihin nun. And sometimes being kind is the harder part of being human. So, sabi ko, habang nagbabasa ako ng comics, o oh, nga, no? And, ano nga ba? Because, I've been, I've been looking at the meanings of strength, character, warmth, and even courage. So, let's start with courage. 
Courage is the ability to move forward despite the presence of fear. So, malaking pinakaiba na ito sa bravery that bravery is the absence of fear. Courage is when you're afraid pero gagawin mo siya because it's right. That's courage. And courage does not always entail physical danger. Bravery kasi it always entails physical danger. On top of the on top of the emotional danger, the mental danger that the situation possesses. Pero yung courage kasi it entails the the mental and emotional primarily. Kahit walang physical danger, parang katulad lang yan sa standing up for yourself, speaking out. If you don't for example, you're experiencing something uh, like bullying or someone's just being mean to you. Standing up to them. So, kinakabahan ka pa rin. But standing up to them and speaking your mind, standing your ground. Diba? Ipaglalaban mo yung right mo as a person who has to be treated as another person. That's courage. So, kahit na natatakot ka, kahit na kinakabahan ka, gagawin mo pa rin. That's courage. Diba? Next would be strength. The ability to withstand great force and pressure. Minsan, na pag interchange yung yung strength and yung bravery and courage. Minsan, na halo halo sila. Kasi nga, your ability to withstand great force and pressure is the strength. So, hindi ka hindi ka nagbabakel ka agad. You have that integrity of structure to withstand. You can weather the storm, you can take the blows, di ba? And you can also move. Yun yung strength. And it doesn't only apply with, or it doesn't only apply to physical strength. Pinakamadali lang sabihin yung physical strength is, it's like bench pressing 200 pounds despite me weighing 120, ganyan, or 125. That's physical strength. Part of the strength of character is yung, yun nga. One of it, one of the examples is, pwede yung kanina, standing up for yourself, doing the right thing even if no one is looking, or despite everyone's disapproval. Strength of character yun. Mental strength naman, yung hindi ka na, nagpapadala sa peer pressure. ba? Kahit na lahat na sila gumagawa yan, so, hindi ka magpapadala, hindi ka basta, hindi, hindi ka basta basta magpapadala siya. So, that ability to withstand great force and pressure, yun yung strength. Yung warmth naman, warmth is, you can exhibit this as enthusiasm, affection, or kindness. In the physical sense of warmth, alam nyo di ba, pag may katabi kayong tao, nararamdaman nyo yung init nila. Yung heat, yung energy. Something that you would feel, or in a sense, ha, parang welcome, kasi buhay. Di ba? And, that's also the emotional feeling na pag when someone is enthusiastic about the things that you like, they show kindness, they show affection, so, they, they show their preference, yan. Para may preference sila sa inyo, they are excited to see you, to hear about you, you feel warm inside, na parang wow ang welcome, ang accommodating. ba? Kaya, yun yung, yun yung mga parts na dinisect ko, kasi they are all still connected. How are they connected is, ito yun, if you dissect the line, be someone who has the courage to, to treat others with warmth. Kasi part siya nung how to be strong nung tatay. You are strong when you're able to withstand great force and pressure. Meaning, hindi lang physical force, that also entails emotional and mental forces, pressure, di ba? So, you withstanding that makes you strong. Yung connection niya is, you can show warmth, yung courage na part doon, you are showing warmth towards a person or towards people who are inherently hostile towards you. So, may danger na. May danger, not just of being physically assaulted, but there's also a danger of you being emotionally rejected. ba? Or, emo or mentally perplexed. Lilituhin ka, guguluhin ka. May vexation na nangyayari. So, you you knowing that there is a possibility for you to experience that yet extending warmth 
courage and next withstanding withstanding their reactions kasi hindi naman right away ang tao if you show warmth if you show kindness hindi naman lagi yan magsasabi na wow ang kind mo naman ang magiging kind na rin ako sa no others would still be hostile because it's unfamiliar to them eh. hindi nila alam yung feeling na may nagmamalasakit sa kanila and they think or they would always think that they would always think that someone has an ulterior, uh, an ulterior motive so magiging hostile sila they don't want to be subjected to the same kind of hurt again so you withstanding their reactions their animalistic reactions of being treated differently from their usual from their usual experiences that shows strength kasi you're there eh. kahit na may hostility na and the warmth that you extend that you continually extend yun yung eventually uh, the warmth that you continually extend that will eventually melt the cold hearts so mare revive diba yung coldness na naramdaman nila na ine-extend nila kasi that's the only way they know how so yung tumatak sa akin yung kasi I've been also a cold person. Di, di ko man tatago yun, di ko ikakaila yun. Sasabihin ako na hypocrite ng mga tao dito. <laughs> Which is yan, naaminin ko talaga. I can also be cold, calculating. And it's easier. Mas madaling gawin yun. Instead of extending kindness, warmth, and and withstanding yung pressure and yung force ng hostility ng kapwa-tao. Diba? Kasi masakit eh. You are also, you have the possibility of getting hurt. So, yung be someone who has the courage to treat others with warmth. Kaya siya nag-stick sa akin. And one of the examples that I can say, itong girlfriend ko makulit. <laughs> Gaganyan-ganyan lang siya. Makulit yan. Pero, compared to me, yung strength of character niya being very forgiving and hindi siya madaling ma- ano eh. Misa nainis yan, magagalit din. Pero, hindi yan nagtatanim ng galit kasi. Ako kasi ay may ugali ako na ay ay sometimes tend to hold on to the anger. So hindi ko nakakalimutan 'yun. Siya she can let go. So in terms of the the courage and the strength and even the warmth leagues above. Part of it 'yan. Natututunan ko 'yun. Pero wait lang guys, may daga sa aking may daga sa aking kwarto. I don't know paano siya nakapatok. Wait lang. <laughs> Hindi ko po ito sinasadya. <laughs> But just in case. Yan. So, pasensya na po. Pasensya na. I will deal with that later. So, yun po. Visit na daga. Nasira yung aking moment. But, there. Yun po yung naging connection nun. Yun po yung significance ng quote para sa akin. And I hope that you can also treat people. You also have the courage to treat others with warmth. Um, mahirap but it gets better with practice so I hope you've learned something tonight that's one meaningful content a day and if you have any comments, suggestions questions, clarifications violent reactions, do let me know para mapaunlakan ko po yan and if you are someone na nahihirapan din mag process ng kanilang emotions do connect with me uh, a life coach may be someone that, that can help you process it mo in a healthy man. So, I will now deal with my visitor and I hope that you are all staying safe, cool, dry, and healthy in your own homes, especially ngayon na malamig, you need warm. And of course, if you are curious about life coaching, you want to experience the magic of life coaching, or you want to be certified as a life coach, do connect with me at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661 that is 0917-586-1661 so I'll be seeing you again tomorrow peace out